Hello and welcome back to 90.5 The Bench. Today we're going to be talking about some um, MLB baseball here with Christian Beam, Quinn Harris, and, and Zeph. Zeph. So, Texas Rangers got it, are getting off to a scorching hot start. <laughs> hot start. Um, 40 and 21. So, how are you feeling about the chances? I think they've been doing amazing lately. Very hot hitting streak. One thing that I think that might affect them is their star pitcher, Jacob deGrom, having a, a torn, oh my gosh. Tommy John surgery. Tom, Tommy John surgery. And he's going to be out for the rest of the series, or the year. What do you guys think about that? Uh, I don't really think it's going to affect the Rangers that much. Without them, they've been doing really good lately. Their hitting has been out of their mind. Nathan Evolvi has been pitching great lately. He's been like having like sub- 0.5 ERA over like last seven or six starts. I think they're just not gonna lose a beat without them. I agree. Um, I think it might take the team spirits down a little bit. Um, definitely felt bad for Jacob Degrom tearing up in his press in his press conference. But um, I believe in the Rangers. I believe that Dane Dunning can step up and be a big piece in the rotation for him. Um, but how about the Texas rival in in Houston, the Astros? I mean, they've been doing. Very well too. It's just the, the Rangers have been playing even better, and I think the Astros are still like up there with the Rangers, and they could surpass them. But the even better team in the AL is the Rays right now. They have been cruising right now. And what do you guys think about that? I agree with all that. The Houston Astros just got out two Bay back, so they've been doing really good. But the Rays, Moneyball itself, Brad Pitt, inspirations for them. They are not paying that much, but they are getting on base and winning ball games. Yeah, the Rays have a kind of a special connection. About the Astros, getting out to it back was a big. Um, I mean, I feel like Keaton Miss a beat. It was a big spark for them. They play good, but um, the Rays just um, have really good chemistry with each other, and they're playing good without having a true star on their team. But how about Fernando Tatis coming back um, from steroid use? I'm going to start with Quinn. I mean, he's just hitting the ball out of his mind. Over the park, like it's nothing. The steroids might still be on him, but I don't know for sure yet. Yeah, it's been amazing. I mean, he's still been on it. He's been good everywhere. I mean, they've been pretty good. Okay, it looks like we have a caller. Um, Who do you think? Uh, Framber Valdez is the Houston Astros mm-hmm. pitcher, correct? Yes, yes sir. Now, um, what do you think, being rivals of Texas Rangers, how do you think he will do against the Texas Rangers hitters? Um, that's a good question. He has been pretty good over his career against the Rangers. Um, a couple times he pitched there. I think he's pitched here one time when we hit him pretty good. But, um, you know, it's definitely a different feel when you're playing your rivals um, in any sport in any time. But, um, yeah, how do you feel about that? I mean, I haven't really watched him pitch that much because he's an Astro. But otherwise, I think the Rangers could still hit him because they've been doing amazing late, lately. But, like, d- depends on how they do that day and how the pitching is going. Yeah, I think we will be able to hit him. It's not really that much of a struggle. I think he's a little overrated. We have another question. Uh, do you think that the, uh, the Rangers could eventually surpass the Rays and being top of the MLB? Good question. Yes, I do believe so. Top of AO, top of MLB. I believe we're only five games back of them right now, um, five or six. So I do believe they could, um, especially if they, if the pitching keeps holding up without Degrom, um, and the lineup just keeps doing their thing, keep doing their work. And before last night, um, when they lost to the um, Cardinals, but they still won the series. Um, before last night, they had a five game winning streak going. I'm not sure how the Rangers are doing at the moment, but yeah. Yeah, about the Rays, I think they're going to do good. Like They're eventually going to crash. Every good team is going to fall at one point, and I think the Rangers are just going up and up at the moment. They might crash, but like they know how to come back. Yeah, I think if the Rangers really want to surpass the Rays, they're just going to have to keep going with it, and they ha- they can't lose sight of the uh, pedal. Guys, thank you all. Signing off from 90.5 The Bench, Christian Beam. Quinn Harris. And Zephyr and Rosses.